Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Colin McRae Dirt. Today is episode number 11. If you want to keep up to date with all going on in this series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. And that is tier number 6 done. All completed. What have we got next for tier 7? Uh, Rallycross supercars, class 1 buggies, four wheel drive, T1. Got some core and some more hill climb unlimited as well. So very nice. Looking forward to that. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to be doing tier 7. And we're starting off with the Rallycross supercars, knock hill and circuit deducts. Let's do... Let's not do this. Okay. Um, so we're a little bit short on money. Uh, 220,000 pounds. Um, okay. Right, so we need to get a bit more money. Um, wow, looks like we're going to have to do core class 1 buggies then. Let's go. Uh, so what is the first circuit? The first circuit is Chula Vista B. Let's do this. Alright, here we go. Core buggies. Let's do this. Got four laps this time. Come on. There we go. Very nice. Coming up to the first proper corner. Ah, oh, this is going to be good. Ah, uh, not quite getting past there. Why are you slowing down so soon? You don't have to slow down that soon. As proven by me. Those are some of the worst bumps ever. It... No vehicle flows through there. Awesome. Obviously, the uh, buggies in Dirt 4 can flow on the Dirt 4 tracks much better. That was very close. Fast. That was the fastest time of the race. Fastest time of the race. Nice. I'll take that. Over the bumps. Very nice. This is only the fourth day of recording as well. This is the fourth day of me playing this. I have a feeling by tomorrow this game will be completed. It'll be the quickest series ever, not going to lie. I mean, what was it? Gran Turismo 6 took me just under a month to finish, so quite a while. Nice. Right, let's do this. Perfect. And this is it, the final stretch. Let's go and cross the line. <laughs> that was rubbish. That was absolutely rubbish at the end. What was that time? Uh, let's have a look. 
327.83 and our personal best was a 47.11. That's very good. I think our final lap would have been even faster if we had have got that landing nailed. But there we go. 10 points for the first race of this championship. And we are next moving on to Crandon in the USA. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Go, go, go. We've got a fairly decent start so far. Keep it steady and controlled through here. Nice. Steady. Perfect. Okay, so we are doing four laps of this, but obviously it's taken us like 30 seconds to already get to the start line. And here we go. The race has begun. good start so far. Okay, hit into there a little bit. Not a problem though, we are still under control. Okay, maybe not. Right. We gotta stay ahead. That's not yet. Of course, that's gonna reset us. We went too far off onto the grass ourselves. Right, 153.14. It's amazing when uh, watch sponsors would actually sponsor games back in the day. Like, they would sponsor just the timing section, so every time a time would pop up, there'd be a sponsor. There were little subtle sponsors that made it feel realistic, but behind the scenes, it was just getting the company extra money. Stuff like that. Yeah, Gran Turismo had um, Seiko watches or something, I think, um, for Gran Turismo 4. I think GT5 and 6 may have had Seiko, or they may have had Rolex. I'm not 100% sure which one. I know F1 2020 definitely has uh, Rolex as their sponsor. Like, all these sponsors in the games aren't just here to be realistic. They're here because they're actually getting paid to be put in there. Uh, what's going on here? What's going on here? Thank you. Look how spread out the pack is now. There are loads of, like, trucks everywhere. Uh, not trucks, buggies. There's one stuck just before the start-finish line, somehow. They are not moving at all. There's a buggy at the side of the road that's lost their front tyre. What is up with this buggy? There is a buggy in front of us that is stuck. Oh, it's that buggy, yeah. It is that buggy behind us. I think they sent it a little too hard. Perfect. Come on. We're on our way to a good finish. Let's get this dub.
That was perfect. I don't think that corner could have gone better if we tried. And there is the finish line. 4 minutes 15.47. We did it. Championship win. We'll then go backwards now. It's the first time we've actually skipped a track, um, but we didn't have enough money for it. And that final lap was under one minute as well. That was the only lap we did under a minute. But uh, we didn't have any opponents to watch out for either. So, yeah, we'll blame it on the opponents for being in the way. Open invitation for the next event. Dude, you rock. Perfect. 150,000 great dollary dues. And we've unlocked one event so far. Oh, saving content. Ta da! Right, let's go back to here for the Rally Cross Supercars, which is going to be Knock Hill and the French one. And so we have a choice of the Citroen Sara 4x4. Or the Saab 9.3. I feel like the Citroen was the better one, wasn't it? Um, and I have a feeling you actually need this car for the final event anyways. Um, so, yeah, you do. It is this car. Uh, we're going to start with Bill the Avo design, which says Bill's sign on it. Uh, we are going for Knock Hill in the Zara in the United Kingdom. Let's do that. All right, here we go. Good feeling about this one. Time for the Citroen. We have four laps of Knock Hill. Let's go. Show them how it's done. The weird thing is, these are classes like Rallycross supercars. Um, but these aren't really much faster than, like, the Lancia Delta or the Peugeot. In fact, I feel like the Peugeot could be faster than these. But these are our class of supercars. I don't think they drive cars this fast in Rallycross even now. Because um, it's more all about trying to actually control the car, not be the fastest around the track. I mean, fastest around the track is the aim, but like... It is difficult to control a rally car off-road. Watch it! That was terrible. How much damage has that caused to the front of my car? Quite a lot. Oh! I caught that crash on camera. Ah, oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Come on. Very nice. That car didn't completely total, which is actually quite surprising. I thought that car, with the speed that it went into that wall, should have destroyed it and got rid of the front tyres, but apparently not. Not today. Very nice. Perfecto. All right, there we go. That's it done. Yes, you won. Enjoy that champagne. Ah, all that champagne. Ah, all that champagne. Oh. I skipped that. <laughs> Oops. The game wasn't loading properly. I just pressed X, like spammed it. Not a great idea. Right. Where is our next track? This is going to be in France at the Circuit de Dux. Let's do this. Right, let's do this. Go, go, go. 
This is a very fast track because of how straight it is. Oh, squeezing past the red Citroen. I feel like this race should be like five laps rather than four. Because like we're going to do these laps quick. This is really good. Not so good there. Wall riding our way round the corner is not ideal. Come on. We need more speed. <laughs> Just <laughs> straight into the wall. Brakes don't exist no more. Right, we have one more lap left to go. This is what Rallycross is about, though. It's like a really short track, always. And here we go. Across the line. Excellent driving. You won the whole championship. That is very good. We won the championship. We got the money. And a 28.59 fastest lap. Which is really good. Really, really good. Right, let's see how much money that got us. I think that gets us... 1, 2, 5 maybe? Or 150. Keep going, dude. You got two more events open to you. Oh. It got us 175 dollar dues. Dollar dues. Awesome. Please do not turn off your PlayStation 3. I won't. But next up is the crossover four-wheel drive and we're going to be taking four-wheel drive cars probably going to end up taking not the Citroen hmm. maybe we'll get a new design we'll get the Impreza for this one today we'll drive this saving content Right, let's go to Spain. Circuito de Girona. Girona. All right, here we go. First race. Have we been on this track before? I don't think we have. I definitely don't recognize it. Feels like quite a fun track, actually. Like a roller coaster almost. Down side to side like a roller coaster. Good F1 memes there. Okay, these tracks are. Ooh, that was close. This uh, circuit is much longer than uh, the other one. Good. Coming out to start finish line there. Go around the inside line. Very good there. I like the look of this track. This looks fun. Like you know when you get tracks that just feel like satisfying, like Yas Marina in Formula One. That's that track is amazing.
can definitely tell I haven't driven this track before in a long time. I don't even remember driving this track when I was younger, so... Did come to a, a little bit of a shock for me. Here we go though, coming up to the finish line. I think, maybe, are we? Yes, we are. Ah! Oh! That is close. 0 0.83 seconds. Oh, that's very, very close. I don't like it. One bit. Let's just go. Hang on, let's have a look. So, 224, 221, 224. Wait, so our my opponent was the only car that did below 2 minutes 20. And he nearly beat me. How is that fair? What? I guess it is fair. Alright, here we go. Off we go. Race number two. I can't actually see if I'm ahead or behind because I've got my uh, drink in front of the meter at the bottom. Always have my mandatory drink while I'm recording. Okay, we are ahead. That's decent. That corner wasn't decent. We're going so much faster than all the other AI cars when they're doing their sessions. And yet when this guy decides to come and go against me, he's like, oh yeah. I'm finally going to pull 20 seconds out of thin air. Like, no, that's not how it works. Here we go, nice. We actually got a much better entry out of that corner. Or exit, sorry. They're getting quite far ahead. I don't like that one bit. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, we've lost it. Yeah, nothing out of that one. Not a zip. Bugger. How did that happen, though? He just came flying out of nowhere. What the hell was that? We could possibly get a third place though because we did go, Oof, yeah, we were stuff. fastest out Looks of the two that didn't win. All your Take it home, man. 75,000 pounds. Okay, fair enough. That was tricky though. How did they get so much speed on us? I feel like I'm going to go off camera and try and beat that with a uh, much faster car. But next up, we are doing the BP Ultimate Rally in the United Kingdom. Uh, let's select this. Right. What choice of car do we do? It's the UK. So I feel like the Subaru Impreza. Obviously it's a Japanese car. But like this car was popular in like rallies in the UK. Here we go. We'll go for Arai as well for the design. Right, so first up, Falston B and Buttery Hall B in the United Kingdom. Let's do this. All right, here we go. It is time. 100, left six. 60, right six. 
60. Right 5, over crest and left 5. 100, left 5 and right 5 and right 6. I love the Subaru 80, so right much. Six, oh! Very long over crest. That was a good save. That was a good save. And left 6, 60. Turn, left 2, onto gravel. Don't cut. 40, right 5. Oh, that's why you don't cut the corner. <laughs> 40, crest. Right four into left four, tightens very long. A massive gate in the way. Crest, right five, long, and left four. That is decent, 3.9 seconds. 80, over double crest. I'm glad I haven't bumped the difficulty up, because if I had, I would be struggling right now. And crest, right six. It started off easy in the three, first races, right but uh, six, got difficult big time very quick. Six, 200. Very nice. Crest oh, right careful, four. careful, careful. Thank you. 60. Left six over jump. Oh, come on. Why did you spin that way? And crest and crest. 40. Right, right hopefully we'll have. Over crest oh, we. Oh. I was going to say, hopefully we have at least two seconds. Got 4.75, that's decent. 60, left four. 60, right five, over crest. 80, crest, right five, 40, left three. Nice. 80, right four, and left three, and crest, right three. 60, right four, into left four, tightens two. Whoa! 60, left 5, 40, right 6. Awesome. 40, right 6, and left 5. 40, right 5, and right 2. And left 3. 150. There right you go, 9.92 seconds ahead. That is very good. 60, left 5. GG's to me. 40, jump into left two, long, and right three. That corner was right much four, tighter than I was four, expecting. Right four. That last one. 40, bridge, and left four. 80, long crest, jump, 60, right four, over crest. That's very good. 60, oh, left four. bit of contact on the inside there. And right five. Very nice. Left five, right six, over jump. 80. Finish. Left six and right six. Huh? What happened there? Oh, that was weird. Three minutes, 20.36. I think we went too far at the end. Uh, that is 13 seconds faster than Mr. McRae today. Which is really good. Terminal damage total is only two. And that French uh, rallycross track seems to be our favourite, apparently. Which is very weird. There we go. 87 races done in a total so far. And we are getting done, getting there towards the end of the... Uh, Career mode. Off we go. 60, crest and left five, long and right five. 100, crest. 60, I don't want to say it, right six, over but jump, so far, left six, 150, left we five, haven't got too right much damage. Four. And now that I've said it, we're going to crash big time at some point. Probably going to get terminal damage, 40, you know, in my right luck. Four. Whenever I say stuff like that, I've always jinxed it. 60, left four. 80, left oh, five, careful, over come jump on. into right five, nice. tightens four. And left four opens long. 60, crest, right three. And left five, Okay, 4.8 right seconds ahead. That's a good distance to have so far. 40. 
left five. 60, right five. And right five and left three onto tarmac. 40, right four. 60, right four. 60, left four. 40, right three. Awesome. I'm liking this. 40, this is going really two. well. I'm probably going to be, after this recording session, jumping on with the wheel of some WRC 8. I think that's the game i got at the moment. There's so many numbers. WRC 9's been announced as well. So I think I'm going to be getting that too. I think that's in August or something. Someone in August. Left one. Nice. 60, left six, 60, right four long. Sixty, left Where is four, it? There 40, is. Left three. It's a really muddy 40, section right now. Four and left three. Sixty, left five and right three on the tarmac. 60, left entry chicane. Okay, through the chicane very nicely. 100. 300. Let's see how much speed this Subaru has. Right entry chicane. 80, turn, right two, gravel, long. 40, I wanted to be safe five. with that uh, chicane, so that's why I slowed down quite a lot. 40. We're on the soft stuff 40, now, so uh, and dip, jump. braking can be a little more difficult. 80, right three. Because uh, you'll slide a little bit more on gravel than uh, mud. 200, left two. Where's the finish? Come on! And there we go, across the line. 323.69, haha. <laughs> oh, that champagne's gonna taste so sweet. Ooh! <laughs> uh, this game is stupid with the voice lines. They are really bad. Right. We have to now repair our vehicle. And uh, take a look at the thing, the damage. We need to take a look at the damage. Um, so yes, cleaning vehicle is going to be mandatory, but we were off-road, so kind of understandable. Um, to be fair, we have got fairly decent um, stuff. I feel like wheels need to be repaired. Engine, drive shaft, and gearbox. Do you know what? Let's do bodywork for once. Like we're always starting a stage afterwards with the damaged car, so let's let's get some decent bodywork. We have two percent damage total on our car at the moment. Two percent damage. That's it. The longest jump is two hundred and eight feet so far. Fancy. Oh, and the Impreza is our favourite vehicle, of course. Let's do this. We got nice 60, clean right Subaru to start right the stage three. for once. And left two. Not that I. I think it actually needed any repairs anyways itself, the bodywork. Left four, right three. And left three opens. Oh, but the turbo was quite damaged. Turbos get worked very hard in our rally stages. Not ideal, not ideal. Okay, there we go. Perfect. 
150, left five and right four long. I've really enjoyed coming back and playing this game. Obviously, this is the fourth day of me playing this, like in a row. And yeah, I'm I'm enjoying it big time. We won the race. Woohoo, we won. That was decent. 321.53 and our total time was 42 seconds faster than Colin McRae. I think rally we're pretty decent at. It's the other stuff we're not too good at. Awesome, man. Who taught you to drive like that? Especially the uh, off-road racing. Like the core and that. We're not too good with that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Make sure to check the description down below for all of our social links. We've got Instagram, Twitter, and Discord. And if you want to stay up to date with Colin McCrae Dirt, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit the join button and also check out our merch link down in the description. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.